the emergency room right now because he decides he wants to cough and not eat properly and try to cough and spit up at the same time and try to not breathe. So he was crying all night. We decided to bring him into the ER to have him looked at. We think maybe he have bronchitis. Um, but of course he's being just fine here. He's talking and laughing and having a good old time. So yeah, he did a whole switch up now that we're here. He's being good, he's watching TV. He's talking to every nurse that come into the room, mm -hmm. barely crying. So yeah, that's what we're doing. They gave him a breathing treatment and he sat through the entire thing and watched cartoons like it was nothing. I'm so tired. He was up for since what, three o'clock this morning? Since three o'clock, screaming, crying, coughing, shaking, kicking, he wouldn't go to sleep. He was just up. As soon as you put him in the car seat, get in the car, he lets out this big sigh. And he's been pretty much good ever since. I'm so sleepy. Like I'm about to come from. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm just glad he's okay. That's all that really matters. Forget my sleep. As long as he's breathing and he's fine. That's all that matters. Okay, so six hours later, conclusion. respiratory infection. He just had a hard time breathing. He's congested, pretty much like bronchitis. But he got a steroid shot and breathing treatment and he's okay. I think. But he's been screaming and crying ever since we got home, like usual, and farting. And he just is really cranky. He had Tylenol. He doesn't want his pacifier. He wants to suck on this nipple. I don't know what's up with him. I might have to take him to the ER again if he continues to be cranky. Like this. Doesn't want the bottle? That's fine. That's fire and cartoons. to do the trick and me not talking so I'm gonna go hopefully he gets better soon and that I just pooped yay 